Hey, 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 peace and love, peace and love. What's going on, everyone? This is Isis Love tuning in live and direct from Mexico. My last video got kind of um, disrupted because uh, I guess I didn't get enough internet service out there by the pool. So I'm back now in the backyard, and uh, I was just really uh, propped and led to do a live video today, um, you know, coming from the ancestors and just, you know, speaking a little bit about... Uh, you know, self-sabotage and uh, spiritual warfare because uh, the real war is inside. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's nothing outside of us. We like to, uh, you know, blame outside entities for our problems when at the end of the day, it really just starts with us. So I can't really see who's on here live because of my uh, internet connection. But if you're just coming in, if you could just uh, let me know that you're watching it live. Um, and if you're going to be watching, go ahead and dive in and whoever's watching can, you know, watch it back on replay. But, um, so I wanted to speak a little bit about, um, uh, you know, spiritual warfare and, and, you know, my personal experience on, you know, just seeing things and, you know, things that I have went through, uh, before in the past and, um, when it comes to spiritual warfare and what that really means is it's it's a it's a war in the spiritual realms like it's it's a a, a spiritual and a a mental war really within ourselves um because we're the ones that's always self self sabotaging ourselves whether or not we're complaining about the kind of car that we're driving in or maybe our current living situation at the house we're living in Instead of just peace, peace, peace. What's going on, fam? Okay, I can see y'all coming in. Peace, peace, peace. So instead of being like, you know, grateful for what we already have, we like to complain about things that we don't have. So, you know, even if you're riding in a hoopty car, like you should be grateful that you have that hoopty car because you couldn't have any car at all. So we really self-sabotage ourselves you know, by the words that we speak to ourselves, not even really realizing that our words are powerful. So you have to be very impeccable with your speech and watch what you speak because what you speak manifests, right? So the more we can focus on what we're grateful for, the more we can get rid of the self-sabotage. And I feel like if we stop trying to live up to the American standards and feel like we have to live up you know, to what somebody else says is beautiful or live up to what somebody else says it looks like to be rich in abundance because richness and abundance is not really from what you have in your pocket. You know, you could be rich and rich in your heart. Richness and wealth really starts from the heart because if you're not right in your heart, then how are you really abundant? You can't attract no type of abundance to yourself fiatly or currency if your heart is not right, if your energy is not right, right? So, you know, just focusing more on what you already have and don't let America set the standards for you. Like I just got done watching this little uh, Netflix movie called uh, I Am Pretty or something like that. And it was this girl like she was constantly beating up on herself because she didn't look like this Hollywood standard of long blonde hair and skinny th thin frame and you know, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But who says that's the definition of beautiful? So I feel like, you know, we self-sabotage ourselves because we really feel like we have to fit behind these labels and these boxes, you know, and it really starts from a child, a child, uh, hood, you know, um, it really starts when you were a child, you know what I'm saying? Whether, you know, somebody in school might have picked on you, bullied you. Like, I got bullied in school. Like, people always talked about, like, the size of my head. Like, they used to just call me airhead and, you know, say I had a big head. And I had to go through that. Like, I came a long way, you know what I'm saying? But imagine if I would have just believe what those people said you know what i'm saying imagine if i would have just stuck with that my whole life believing what somebody else says from their personal experience like that's their perspective like we all perceive this reality different so it doesn't matter what they say okay you know but imagine how many other you know children or even adults 
are being um, told these different type of things, instead of letting it just pass through you, you take it and you and you hold it like very emotional to yourself. But what you're really doing is you're, you're holding on to those perceptions, perspectives from other people, not really acknowledging the beauty that you already have, which then turns into self-sabotage. You know what I mean? Because then you're constantly you know, telling yourself that, you know, you're not good enough or you're not beautiful enough. For what? For who? The only person that you need to be beautiful enough is is for yourself. And so we are right now in a in a spiritual warfare as a community. And um, you know, especially when it comes from, you know, just these social standards, um, when it comes to gender um, you know, and gender quote unquote roles that we uh say that we have to follow. Like, you know, it's just constantly all these different things that we feel like, you know, we have to set a standard or we have to be. When at the end of the day, love is love. Like, you should be able to love whoever you want to love. I don't care if your, uh, your, your partner is a, a freaking goat. Like, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, if you personally like to have a, a affair with a goat... Like, that's you. And I think that people should be able to be and do who they want to be. You're not the person that got to be with the goat. So why does it matter to you? Like, I feel like we bash each other so much for our differences that we don't even see our alikenesses. You know what I'm saying? We don't even see the things that we all have in common. We have the same blood in our veins, whether you're white, black, purple, green, orange, we have the same blood that runs through our veins. We put our pants on the same way, one leg at a time. We use the bathroom the same. Some may do a little bit different when they're in the bathroom, but you get the point that I'm trying to make, right? So why are we always focusing on the differences, you know, why are we always worrying about who's sleeping with who? If another guy wants to sleep with another guy, who cares? Why people get so angry about that? You have to really get down to the root of yourself and ask yourself, why are you so angry about who that person wants to sleep with? Why does it really matter? And then from a furthermore, and I know I'm just riding along because it's just all coming out to me with the spiritual warfare warfare is it really starts when we're kids and I really feel like little boys have it the worst men have it the worst because men are shown not to express their emotions ever since they've been a little boy stop don't do that don't act like a little girl don't be crying you gotta be a big boy don't do this don't do that like we're just, we can't even express ourselves. We can't even express ourselves sexually as a child. Don't touch yourself. What you doing? Get your hands out your pants. You nasty. All these different little programs. Y'all don't really, I don't know if y'all really enter and understand how that really sticks with people now in their adult times. Like some adults are, ex are afraid to express their sexuality because of the standards that we have to go by. So it starts from the children. And I know I say this is a lot because the children are the future. So make it a difference for your child so your child doesn't have to go through what you're going through right now. Let your child know how beautiful they are. Start to, you know, compliment their achievements instead of what they're not good at. You know what I mean? Like this is all, this is like all spiritual, like it's really that serious. We really get stuck on these labels. Like, hello, this is a video game. This right here, you see this arm? It's flesh. It's a meat suit. If you think about a vehicle, if you think about a car, when the battery dies, you have to jump it, right? Well, if your heart goes out, you have to jump your heart, right? This is this a vehicle. Don't get so caught up on the surface, worried about what Trump doing and this. Like, don't get me wrong. I see what's going on. Like, I see it, but I'm not in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm of this world, but I'm in this world. Everything that Trump is doing is what he's supposed to do. Everything what Hitler did is what he's supposed to do. Everything is written in stone, right? So we have the ability to react, right, and get all freaking upset or make a difference. Like, just be the change you want to see. Like, just change the system. We don't have to abide by what's going on in these systems. And so spiritually... Spiritually, we have just been so, 
you know, ingrained with these different programs, whether it be from our parents, our teachers, our friends, what we see on TV, you know what I mean? Like, we've been just so ingrained with these programs. And the only way that we're going to help ourselves is to think differently. The only way that we're going to help ourselves is to do things differently. You can't complain about how your credit score is low and you can't get anything with your credit and your credit this and your credit this. And there's tens of thousands of people, including myself, that is here to help people with their credit. And yet you still complain. Like, what sense does that make? Stop freaking complaining and make a difference. You're in a war with yourself. The only war is the war with yourself. You have to make the difference. You have to be the change. You know what I'm saying? Because if not, you're just, what kind of lineage are you leaving for your family and your future? What kind of lineage are you leaving for your family and your future? You know what I mean? Nobody, and then I'm bringing it in even down to a financial level now because you know I'm a big financial advocate for the community. You know, a lot of people are jacked up financially because it started when they were kids. Maybe you wanted a brand new bike and your mother was like, we can't get this bike. It's too expensive or we can't afford to do this. That stuff will scar a child. So watch what you're saying to your children about money. If anything, you should be sitting down with your child learning how to manifest that brand new bike for them. Rather than telling them that they're not worthy for that brand new bike. What about you set up a trading account or some stocks and you teach your children how to trade on the Forex market or trade in stocks so that they can have their own money to buy their own bike? You know what I'm saying? So it starts with you so that you don't have to go through the same things you've been brought up in. You know what I'm saying? Even when I was a child, I'm about to be a little bit transparent. When I was a child, we didn't really have Christmas. First and foremost, we already knew that it won't no Santa. We know mama was buying the presents. So, you know what I'm saying? We had our, our presents before Christmas, but we can never really keep no presents. If there was anything that can go to the pawn shop, we was taking it to the pawn shop just so we can get money. But, you know, I love my mother. And at that time in that space, that was the only way she knew to make a best for us was to take the stuff to the pawn shop. So Christmas after Christmas, gift, birthday gift after birthday gift, all my stuff went to the pawn shop. I, I, I never really got to enjoy a Christmas or enjoy, enjoy a, a, a birthday because all of my stuff was at the pawn shop. So we can get some money and pay some bills. But I refuse to live a life like that in this now moment. Especially with all the choices out there and with all the options. People like to be scared of scammy stuff. But guess what? If you give off the energy of fear and scam and victim mode, then that's what you're going to get more of. If you continue to live in the victim mode... Oh, I can be doing this, but it's because the marriage I had, I lost everything. Or, oh, I can be doing this, but somebody scammed me out of $200. Just excuses. Somebody scammed you out of $200 because you ain't have the hindsight and the mind to look at the opportunity. Why would you give yourself to give your money to $200 to somebody you didn't even know? So the moment you get out of being a victim, people are going to stop taking advantage of you. The moment you step in the victor realm, the more blessings are going to come to you. So spiritual warfare with yourself, with yourself, you can make a difference. It's your choice. That's why I don't feel sorry for people. I'm sorry. I don't feel sorry for people. People always, oh, the people, the homeless people, they're on the corner, they're on the streets. Everybody is given a choice. Now, I do understand that some people are born in quote-unquote poverty. Some people are born into it, but you still have a choice. It wasn't like I was born in some type of rich family. Like, I was born into hard times. Like I told you, going to the pawn shop. It was times when we didn't have heat in our house, and we had to open up the oven and let our whole house be warmed up by an oven. There was times where our iron didn't even work, and we had to take the iron and put it on the stove just to heat it up to iron our clothes. 
There was times where we didn't even have money to get no clothes. We had to go out, buy an outfit, wear it for the day, take it back to the store. I did that for most of my high school years, buying outfits and taking them back to the stores. Everybody thought I was fly. They was like, oh, Shanice, you know what I'm saying? You, you always stay fly at school. You always stay fly. But if they were only knew that we didn't even had the money to afford school clothes we had to go out to the store and get a new outfit and take it back to the same day so yes everybody is not born into a a circumstance where they're already born into financial literacy or born into financial freedom but what i'm here to tell you is that we have the choice right now with so many resources out there we have the choice right now today make the choice make the choice today Stop making excuses. I can't, I mean, I, I just, it just baffles with me. I work with so many people all day because I'm a financial coach. And I work with people all day that says they're ready for a difference. But when I approach them with an opportunity, not saying that the opportunities that I have is the only opportunities to acquire financial wealth or financial freedom, but it is an opportunity. And I'm sitting here trying to give it. But I can only help you help yourself. You have to meet me halfway. My time is very valuable. You know what I'm saying? So we have, spiritual warfare is on yourself. The self-sabotage you tell yourself, I'm not smart enough. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not beautiful enough. I'm, I'm not wealthy enough. I don't have no money. I don't have no money. Like that hurts my ears. Like, ooh. I don't even like to speak those words. Like, I don't even like that in my vibrational field. Those words. Okay? So, you have to change your words. And I know it may seem far-fetched, right? I know it may seem like, I've been changing my words, and I've been doing my affirmations, and I've been doing my mantras. But you got to believe it in your heart. That's why wealth starts from the heart. That's why abundance starts from the heart. Because if you don't know who you are and you don't know what you're capable of, how can you believe it? Don't you want to be represented in your financial uh, uh, literacy or your financial legacy as the uncle or the grandparent or the grandma that made a difference for their family? Like, let me tell you how my life's going to be set up. Five, six, seven generations from now, my picture is going to be up at my family's dinner table. And they're going to be like, you know what? That's Grandma Isis Love. She paved the way for us. Grandma Isis Love did what she had to do in her present moment to make a financial difference for our family. That's why we're sitting here on these eons of acres of land. That's why we're sitting here up on gold. And that's why we know how to trade in the Forex market because Isis Love, Grandma Isis Love, great, 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 Isis Love has paved the way for our family. What do you want to be known for? What do you want to be remembered as? Do you want to be remembered as Grandma Ebony, Grandma Sky, and I'm just using y'all names because y'all on here. I'm not picking with y'all. But do y'all want to be remembered as the grand, the grandmas or the aunties that didn't do anything? The grandmas, look at that, look at the ancestors flying around me. They know what's up. Do you want to be the person that left debt to your lineage? Do you want to be the one that left credit card debt to your family? Is that where you want to be? Is that who you want to be? Or do you want to be the difference in your life and for your generation's life? We have to start doing stuff from the unseen realms. Even taking care of this planet. Even thinking about the water. What we put in the water. Are you recycling or are you getting all this plastic? My partner has to always drill it in my head. We are not getting plastic. Do you guys know that plastic does not decompose? Do you know what's happening to the plastic on our planet today that's being washed up in our oceans, that's being washed up in our seas? You don't care because it's not really affecting you now. But what about your children? And what about their children's children? What about the oceans for them? You love going to the beach, right? You love going to the lake, right? 
But what is the ocean and the lakes going to look like 10, 15 years from now? Do you ever ask yourself that? That's wealth. That's abundance. What are you doing today? Are you still buying plastic bags? Are you recycling? Are you composting? What are you doing today to make a difference from this planet? So that we can stop going on on this cycle, after cycle, after cycle, after debt, after debt. Nine to five job, nine to five job. Paid vacations. You can only take a vacation when you get paid leave? That's fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. That you only can get out and see the world when you get paid vacation leave? It's fucking ridiculous. The world is vast. So much to see. But you can't go out because you got to work for somebody else. We have to break it. We have to break the bondage in our DNA. We have to break the bondage in our DNA. We have to break the bondage in our DNA. I'm fired up today. And it's just coming from everywhere. So I just bear with y'all for just listening to everything because it's channeling in. And I told you I only make a live when I feel the ancestors coming through. Now this next message is for my ladies. No disrespect on our fellas. But this next message is for our ladies. And I highly suggest everybody on here right now share this video right now. It's for free to share. It's free to share this video. Share this video right now. Because what I'm about to say is for the ladies, okay? Sisters from all races. Because there's only one race. Sisters from all colors. White, brown, purple, green. Because there's only one race. Don't get caught up on this skin that's on the surface. Yes, my quote-unquote black people, we have been through a lot. But it's time to rise above that and look past this freaking skin color. How are we ever going to go anywhere far when we always thinking about somebody's skin color and their gender? But this message is still for my ladies on that point. Because this planet right now needs more of this feminine nurturing on this planet. It ain't about what you wear or how you act. Feminine energy don't have nothing to do with that. Feminine energy is receptive energy. It's nurturing energy. Women, we need more of you in this financial uh, industry. Okay? We need more women in this financial industry. It's the women that paves the way. Let's just face it. It's the women that paves the way. We need more women in this financial industry. We need more women that's able to know this financial uh, knowledge so that they can pass it off to their offsprings. It's up to us, ladies. Then we could turn around and teach it to our husbands or our wives or our husband wives, whatever. Who, however you get down is how you get down as long as it's in love. Ladies. Do y'all know before the recession, there was all women in the stock market and even in the tech, the technology, like women was doing it. What happened? We got to bring that feminine energy back. Like right now I'm in this financial industry and I'm noticing that all of my quote unquote mentors and all the people that I look up to in this financial industry are men. And there's no disrespect. And don't think that, oh, she one of them feminists. She hate no men. She must have had a hard time with men. No, I have perfect relationships with men. I have perfect relationships with my father, with my brothers, with my uncle. This got nothing to do about that. So don't get caught up on that. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't get caught up on that. What I'm saying is, it is time for that divine feminine energy to arise and bring back nurturing on this planet. It's too... Uh, uh. Uh, and that's not what it's about. Abundance in everything, wealth, and knowledge. We are, we are that. We are that. We don't even have to try so hard. I'm noticing 
in this financial industry and being a serial entrepreneur that I'm following behind the past of all these men and it's making me be uh, 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 like it's making me go hard when in essence I don't have to go hard. Only thing I got to do is use my divine feminine energy and sit back and let my currency flow. Where are y'all at, sisters? Because finances and spirituality is the same. Don't separate them. I was talking with one sister. She was like, I'm a spiritual healer. I don't have anything to do with, with money. I'm like, what sense does that make? Spirituality and money is one of the same. It's energy. It's positive energy. And if you think that you don't need money on this 3D realm to prosper, you need to think again. Where y'all at, ladies? It gets lonely. Every time I turn around, there's so many male financial educators. Where are you at? I am here to help you. I am here to educate you as much as I can because I'm learning every day. But I can't do this by myself. And I can't do this if you are not willing to meet me halfway and do this for yourselves. Spiritual welfare. It starts with you. It starts with you making a difference. It starts with you jumping over the hurdle of your fear. Now, don't get me wrong. We need a quote-unquote type of fear. We need the type of fear that's going to help us survive in an instance like, hey, you don't want to walk in that lion's cage because you don't want to get bit. Or, hey, you don't want to walk down the street with this gang wearing blue when you know this is a, a all a, a blood gang. Like, okay, we need fear in that instance. But fear that stops us is the fear is false evidence appearing real. Right? We have to go past our hurdles. And I'm only speaking from experiences. Like everyday experiences. I deal with a lot of people on the financial realm who says they want the help. But then they don't get it when I give it to them. And then they go back to complaining. Now what sense does that make? What sense does that make? We have to be the change that we want to see. If you want your credit card debt fixed, you want your credit score fixed, then take the help when it's presented. Cut down on your habits. You can go out there and go buy that new iPhone, but you can't even invest a little bit of money to get your credit fixed. You can go out there and invest on that iPhone, but you can't even put money in your trading account to learn how to be a Forex trader. You can put money on that iPhone, but I'm sitting here trying to tell you how to acquire assets and start saving in gold, and you haven't even done that yet. But you can go get that new iPhone and them new shoes, and you can go get your hair done five times a week. Priorities. I'm not saying don't go out and go get your hair done. But what I'm saying is look at your finances and see how many times you want to go get your hair done. Because you getting your hair done is not expanding your money. Learn how to do your hair. And I'm speaking with passion. I don't mean to sit here and yell at you guys. But I'm speaking from my heart. Because I just, I can't do this alone. You know, I need more of the light workers to wake up and share this with our community. Okay? To be broke is a choice. It is not something that we were born here to be. We were not here to be born to be struggling in this world. We shouldn't be struggling. It's a sin to struggle. It's a sin to struggle. And I'm crying because I'm passionate. I'm crying because I feel the ancestors working through me. For me. For us. I feel them. And this is not a game. What I'm speaking is not a game. It's not even funny. <laughs> What's funny... It's people thinking that they're supposed to be broke. The joke's really on you. 
So be the change you want to see. Stop with the self-sabotage. You are beautiful just the way you are. In whatever situation that you are in right now, you are beautiful. And you have a choice to make the difference. Stop complaining. Stop it. It's, it's boring now. You complaining is really boring. Be the change that you want to see. Make a difference for you and your generations to come. Start bringing in passive and residual income. The opportunities are out there. If you don't like the opportunities that I present, trust and believe there's tens of thousands of other people out there that's ready to help you. So I'm not going to make this video long, y'all. Spirit just, just, you know, really, really working through me. Especially since I've been getting deeper in this Forex market stuff, you guys. Whether you start to trade on the four X market or not, know that your money is going to be traded regardless. I would rather learn all that I can learn about the four X market and trade my own money and take it out the banks. The banks are fucking bullshit. And I'm letting it all out tonight because you got to have two sides. You can't be all namaste. Your ratchet got to come out too or you're not even honoring yourself. Fuck the banks. I'm through with them. I'm totally through with the banks. The banks got some kind of BS called overdraft protection. Who is it really protecting? If you go into overdraft protection, you get a fee. They charge you $25 to $35 for some freaking overdraft protection. Who is it protecting? It's protecting them. Because they are trading your money on the Forex market. Whether you become a trader or not, your money is still being traded. You can't even pull out a certain amount of money a day because your money is being traded on the Forex market. So I don't know if y'all understand how important it is to learn how to become a trader. Because whether you do it or not, your money is going to be traded. Just like that. When your money is sitting in the bank, it's just sitting there. It's just sitting there looking cute. Hi, I'm a thousand dollars in your account. I'm just sitting here. I'm not doing anything. I'm just, I'm just sitting here. Why? Why is your money sitting in an account? It's currency. It should be moving. It shouldn't be stagnant. Take that money and make it make money for you. If you don't know how, ask me. I'm literally at my freaking breaking point with these banks. Like, I tried to have a little bit of money in the banks where I could just go and pull it out. But no. Today, when I get off this live feed, I'm going back to learn about mutual funds. I'm going back to learn about ETAs. I'm going back to learn about investments more. Because my goal is that all of the money that I have is all going to be going to investments. I don't care if it's cryptocurrency. I don't care if it's gold. I don't care if it's mutual funds, ETAs, stocks. Not bonds right now. It's not a good time for bonds. But other than that, I'm really going to be putting my money into the Forex market. Because with the Forex market, it is the way that I see a difference for me and my family. Because I can, I'm can, i teaching my mom how to trade on the Forex market. And my mother is almost 60 years old. But my mama sees the benefit in the Forex market. And she is ready for a change for her generation. No more pawn shop. So, life is a risk, right? And that's the way the market works. It goes up and it goes down, just like in life. Today, you could be 
really happy and really chipper and really buttery. And tomorrow you can be pissed off and angry and you don't feel like being bothered. It's okay. It's the ebb and flow in life. Mutual funds, stocks, real estate, it all goes up and down. I would rather have my money somewhere than nowhere. I would rather have my money somewhere than nowhere. So, thank you very much for taking the time and the energy to invest in yourself and hear this information. Because best believe the information that I just gave to everybody is priceless. Doesn't even have a price on it. Because that's how my energy is. It's priceless. It's currency. It's energy. It's positive. It's love. So I hope that everybody took something from this video and not only took what I said, but applied what I said. Because information is just information. But if you don't apply what you learned, then it's just information. So thank you very much for stopping by and listening in to this message from the ancestors that came through me, for me, for us. Share this video, please, because even if you feel like it wasn't no benefit to you, trust and believe it's going to be of some benefit to somebody else in the community. Even if you're not ready to make a difference in your life financially, somebody else in your community is ready. So share this blessing. Don't hold on to your blessings. Share them. Okay? Each one should teach one. Share this video. Like it. If you're watching it live, please comment live. If you're watching it on the replay, let me know. This is Isis Love. Peace, love, and prosperity.